1982 Lotus Esprit Turbo S3 here in red with the red interior, red on red, good colours this one. Uh, it's been off the road for some time now this one, um, needs a little bit of light recommissioning, it does run. Um, but my brother's informed us that the clutch, the clutch is right on the floor. Um, he, he's managed to move it around our place, uh, back and forth and stuff and, and, and around places. Uh, he's managed to do it but he said the clutch is right down on the floor so that's going to want some attention. We're going to start off with the bonnet and work our way around the whole car into the interior. We'll get it running at the end as well. Body weight wise, obviously five glass this one. The bonnet's all all right. It wants a good machine polish this. There's a few marks here and there. Uh, and a tiny bit of micro blistering. If you get really up and close, the camera will not pick it up because you've got to have your nose touch the bonnet to see it. But it is there. A few little chips here and there on the nose cone. We're going to go down onto the left hand side front bumper corner. You'll see there's various stone chips, but you know, it's 40 year old and it's fiberglass, so it's going to want some bits and pieces. That's the driver's side there. You can see a few little, a little chips, a little cracks on that very low front splitter. But no actual crazing itself on the corners, which is nice. Um, like I say, there is a scrape there, but it, it hasn't crazed up over or, it, or anything like that, so it hasn't had, it's just literally a light scrape. So that saves a load of problems really there. So we're on the driver's front corner here, onto the wing. Like I say, fiberglass, you're not going to have any rust issues on the body. Wheels are all alright, once a good, good clean and tidy up this one. We've got a little bit of craze in there on the front edge of the driver's door and a few little strip, chips on that edge you go along the sill there that's all nice and straight bottom half of the door's all good a little bit on the back edge there as you come up across the top of the door we'll just quickly do the roof now again there is the odd little mark of the paintwork on the roof you can see along here on that seam there around the sunroof is all okay but there's our little mark across the roof as we go down that rear quarter you've got a little few bits and pieces in the paint there a little bit of cracking here and on the uh, where the, on the rear quarter where the spoiler meets the rear arch is all okay not wavy though if you look down the side it's not wavy it's all nice and red as well don't think it's had many touch up in its life that's for sure onto the back onto those those louvers there in black a few little marks on those again across the top of the boot like I say where the spoiler meets there on that seam there is some pain cracking onto the driver's rear bumper corner a little bit of a mark on the top again all okay very presentable this one nice and red a few little cracks on the bumper corners light lenses are all nice and clean there's no marks or cracks in the light lenses as we go across onto the passenger rear quarter, a few little marks on the lower half. Again, all okay there, no crazy, no cracking on that part. A few little stone chips here down by the stickers. Stickers themselves are all okay. No problems with that. Rear wheels are lovely. I think they've been refurbished, that's for sure. And a good set of tyres all round as well. Across that lower sill, you'll see. There's a little bit of a mark there where you be, people have been getting in and out and catching their shoe on it. Onto the driver's door. Uh, passenger door, I'm, I'm lying to you. Passenger door there, sorry about that. Is all okay. Around the windows is all alright as well. A few little marks there. That's the passenger front wing onto the windscreen pillar. See a little bit of paint chipping off there. Across the front wing and down. It's all all right again, nice and straight down that passenger side. Gonna want some paint work and those little cracks sorted out in bits and pieces. Into the interior now. You'll see the door does drop a little bit. Tommy's gonna just see that there when you close it. It does close, but when you open it, it does drop a little bit on the hinges. Driver's door card. It's all complete. Once a uh, good clean and tidy. You'll see that the surround's missing there. That's on the centre console. Interior, interior, it was all alright actually. It has got some wear on it, you know, little silly bits and pieces, but it's all there, there's no rips or tears. 
really good colours this, bones are really good clean and a little bit of time and attention it'll just bring it right back to life. Like I say that's the surround for the driver's door handle. All the dials are nice and clear, the dash is good, no cracks in there, all nice and readable, steering wheel is all lovely. Like I say a little bit of wear on the seats, red carpet as well, centre console again a little bit of grubbiness but all good in there. See the headline in there. We'll go around the passenger side and we'll come back to the engine compartment and the bonnet. Again, a little bit of wear, but it's the right amount of wear for the car. Showing 40,000 miles this one. What a nice place to be. It really is. You'll see a few little marks here and there on the dash, but there's no cracking or rips or tears on the dash top. A little bit of wear on the passenger seat. Good colours this one really is. Into the bonnet here sort of load compartment you've got a spare wheel washer bottle and servo it's all okay in there again once a bit of a clean but it's all all complete like i say it does want a little bit of love here and there this one but not a bad base to start off that's for sure so into the back here have a good look around there i'm gonna get toby to open that engine cover And then we'll move that all the way out so we we'll have a good look in here. Like I say, just want some light recommissioning in there. I'll get Toby to fire it up here. You want to have a look from the back. It's got a little bit of a little bit of a tap noise. Well, get a bit of chill. Apologies about this, he's getting in the car. Here we go. Stop to unload the smoke out already. Like that. It's ticking over quite happy now. We need to give it a little bit of It's on choke there, you see. A little bit of choke and it starts. You can hear that little sort of hydraulic tap noise. Yeah, a little bit of a tap noise there, but I'll give it a little bit of rev, but it is cold, so we don't want to rev it too much. Again, not throwing out loads of smoke. There you have it, the 1982 Lotus Esprit Turbo S3 in red with the dark red interior. Any further questions on any of our lots, just give us a call, we can help us as much as we can.